Let's begin discussing how do we insert elements into a red-black tree. Just like we saw when we were doing binary search trees, we're going to have a method for locating the parent. It's effectively the same. The only thing we need to be careful of here is that our leaves are actually nil pointers, so we're going to include a little bit of a stipulation for that. Our parent should never be one of those nil pointers. It should always be one of the internal nodes. So in this example here, my parent should be three and not this random nil pointer I have over there. So just to be a bit careful, we need to have our code look a little bit different, but this is effectively the exact same code for locating the parent of our node to be inserted as we had for the binary search tree. So how are we going to insert then? Let's suppose we wanted to insert into this tree, let's say 13. So I would go to the right, I would go to the right, then go to the left, then go to the right and add 13 here. Notice I chose the strange magenta color so as to not hint at anything we're going to be doing for the coloring of this. Because now we have the question of, well, I inserted a node, what color do I make it? So let's color this black or maybe blue to make it a little bit less garish to look at, but who knows what we're gonna color that node. So that's what we're gonna do in this uh, tree insert method here. So step one, find the parent. Step two, is determine if it's the root or which side of the parent it goes on. So here it went on the right side because it was bigger than the parent. So we have all of our stuff for doing that here exactly the same. Once we insert this new node, it's important to mention we're gonna to need to add those two pointers to nil because every single thing points to nil. We have a special keyword here, leaf. And then it looks like we're always going to color it red. Let's look and see if this broke it. We look and we have one, two black nodes, one, two seems okay. But then it may break it. So for example, if I had inserted seven, well, where, where does seven go? Seven, I would go to the left and then go to the right and then I would insert seven over here. And if I color that red, I have broken my binary search tree. So we have a method for that. It's called red, black, insert, fix up. And it fixes it. It's not so easy as that. Just like when we saw Max Heapify and we had this brilliant method called Max Heapify and we just pretended like it was okay. We are going to need to look at how does that fix up work? Because there are several different ways in which I could break this. Another way would be that if you added too many black nodes somewhere along the way, that you could also cause a problem. With the way we set it up though, because we're always coloring it red, the problem that we're going to encounter is potentially sequential red nodes. We're going to analyze this by figuring out what ways could we possibly break it, and we're just going to divide those into different cases. So our first case here is in a very abstract picture I drew for us here, and this is trying to narrow down exactly what is breaking in the tree. If the parent and uncle, uncle here being the gender neutral term for uncle, this is the sibling of the parent, are red. So in our picture, Z got inserted, and then X and Y were red. If that's the case, how are we going to fix it? Well, step one, we're going to recolor the parent to be black, and then Y to be black, and then we're going to recolor the grandparent to be red. So we take, we permute the colors on all three of these nodes. By doing this, we noticed that previously we had one black node in this and one black node in this. And in our new example, we have one black node and one black node. So how, how could we have broken it further? Well, we could have also up here further along the line have W sibling and then both W and that sibling could have some common parent up here and I could have the exact same problem again. So we're just gonna repeat this on the grandparent of Z, which is W. And we'll repeat this until eventually we've no longer borked it too bad. So that's our idea for how we're going to do this. Let's try and see if we can perform these operations. So we're going to insert 29 into this tree. It's nice that I have it sort of here, but I find it a lot easier to analyze these things when I just draw it by hand. So let's do that. 
here. We want to insert 29, so let's see what happens. When we insert 29, we're gonna to need to go to the right, to the right, to the right, to the left, and then it will go over here. I should color it red. So let's draw in as red because we're always starting with red. And then our case was, let's scroll up. We just inserted a red node and its parent and its parent's sibling, its uncle, are going to both be red. So we did that. So what's our fix? Our fix is to do a bunch of recoloring. So we're going to recolor 27 to be black. So let's do that. We have 27 is now black. We also are going to recolor 34 to be black. And we're going to recolor 30 to be red. So maybe we need to recolor this uh, branch here. Let's do that. That branch should be black. And then we're going to promote, this was originally our node Z. We're going to get rid of that and try and do that with this new node Z, which will update to be the grandparent of the original, which was 30. And now, have we broken it? Yes, we have. We have now a red node with a red parent and the parent's sibling is also red. So 25 sibling is 18. So what do we do? Well, we recolor both uh, the parent and the uncle to be black. So we color this to be black and this to be black. And then this node becomes red. And now at this point, my parent is now black. So I no longer need to do any fixing. Let's verify that at least on the side of the tree that I drew, I have not broken anything. So over here, I have one, two, three black nodes. I have one, two, three black nodes, one, two, three black nodes, one, two, three. One, two, three, everything seems to have three. So this looks like we haven't broken it too bad. I guess I forgot to update Z. Z is now going to be this, but we are done at that point. So this is our first fix up. When we have these sequential red nodes in this particular manner, we're going to move the redness up the tree and make the children black. And hopefully we will not change the number of black nodes in any way by doing this. Let's look at the code for doing this. First, we're gonna have code for finding the sibling. I trust you guys can read this and understand it. I included a picture even to explain the two different cases that I'm talking about. So this hopefully won't be too bad. I'll leave this to you to analyze and look at on your own. So for our code, if the, our parent is black, we don't even need to do anything. So as one of the conditions in our while loop, if the parent's color is black, we just don't even enter it. Or if we're at the root, we aren't gonna bother doing anything weird above us because we need, would then access elements we don't want to have access to. So if these two things aren't the case, we then need to find out what is the sibling of our parent, our uncle. So maybe we even write that in here, that's the uncle. And if the color of that uncle, the sibling of my parent is black, then I'm not in this case. So this check here and this check here are to verify that we are in the correct situation for needing to apply this fix. So if we are in the correct situation, then we set the parent to be black and the uncle to be black. And then we move up to the grandparent and set the grandparent to be red. Exactly what we said. We recolor the, the parent and our uncle, and then we move up to the grandparent. And we keep doing this until we have not broken it too bad. Notice it's possible that when we do this parent of parent call and then color it red, we may color the root of the tree. I'm checking whether or not Z is the root here, but I'm actually never checking when I'm doing this recoloring, we'll have to keep that in mind and we'll come back to that later about recoloring the root red on accident as a result of this scheme. But for now, this is our method. We'll analyze its runtime a little bit later when we are looking at all of these different fix-up methods in one.